Okay, hello, like the video, thank you very much. So, happy Christmas, happy Boxing Day, happy New Year's, and happy birthday. Alright, so review of, what was it, The Church on Ruby Road. So, what, spoilers, spoilers, go watch it and come back and watch this review. So, what I'm going to say is, okay, um, it's a basic story, um, Christmas, goblins, kidnap baby to feed to the Goblin King. So a basic story. And a Ruby, there's a new character companion called Ruby Sunday, and she was found abandoned on a church. So the title's called Church, Church and Ruby Road. Um, yeah, this seems fine. Um, I don't wanna have, I don't have, I don't remember too many good Christmas episodes. Um, I think the only two good ones that sent out to me were the, uh, the Matt Smith one, the Christmas Carol, and uh, Peter Capaldi with the face huggers. I think it was called Last Christmas. Those were two good Christmas episodes. I don't have too many high standards about Christmas Doctor Who episodes. So let's go through my list. Yeah, who calls, who calls, like, foundling? Who says foundling? Like, uh, there's Davina McCall giving an interview to Ruby, and she's calling her foundling. Dude, uh, the only thing I'm thinking about Foundling is that uh, Disney TV show Mandalorian where they call uh, call him Foundling or, and he calls the Yoda Foundling. So I don't know if they're trying to connect it with Disney. That's why they keep calling him Foundling. I mean, wouldn't you just say orphan or something? I mean, why would you say or adopted? I don't know. You wouldn't call that person a Foundling. It's just odd. It sounded odd. It sounded weird. Um, that was weird. Mm. Okay, it starts out with the dancer, uh, the doctor dancing in a club. Which is fine. Um, he's, he meets Ruby because he knows, when he meets Ruby at the club, he senses something's not right with her, like, so that maybe she's been, like, messed with, with goblins because she's getting a lot of bad luck. Uh, and, you know, one thing I did want to talk about was, uh, the screwdriver. So he's got a new screwdriver. Can you see it there? So I didn't originally, I didn't like the look of it because I thought it looked like a spoon, like a big baby spoon. And I thought they were setting him up to fail, you know, failure. But now I look at it, I kind of like it a little bit. You know, I'm starting to like it. It looks, you know, it's got gold, blue, silver in there. It looks more like a TV remote. Or, to me now, it looks like more like a TV remote. Or like one of those, you know, you open your garage door and use one of those remotes. Like that. Yeah, but, you know, I like it. It's growing on me. So what do I think of his performance, uh, uh, gutty... The doc, new Doctor Who. Uh, so, yeah, he was good. He's fine. Nothing wrong. I, I need to see him in new episodes to make up my mind uh, if he's like a good. But yet, yeah, I liked his appearance, the 60s, 70s clothing, the leather, and uh, the brown leather. That was nice. Um, he had some mannerisms, and the way he talked might remind me of uh, Doctor Who. So he's, that's fine. That was good. Uh, I need to see more of him before I can make an uh, opinion up. Yeah, uh, Amy Pond, uh, oh no, not Amy Pond, Ruby Sunday, very attractive woman, uh, something for the dads, uh, something for the straight, straight heterosexuals, uh, very nice, like Amy Pond, like an Amy Pond character, very nice. Uh, somebody in the comments se section said there's been a lot of female attractive companions, so she's a long line of them. That's nice. Uh, yeah, uh, Mavity is still a thing. Yep, he, Doctor hasn't gone back, back into the past and changed that. Still saying Mavity. The, oh yeah, I did, you know the Goblin Singers? I think some people in the comments section were saying it's turning into a musical. And um, it, it's a Christmas episode, so I'm okay with them they've been singing. If new series with the new Doctor happens and they're singing all the time, I might, it might become irritating. Um, it wouldn't be Doctor Who if it kept singing all the time. Um, I did enjoy the Goblin song. I thought the singer was, the singer was really good, that main Goblin singing. Her voice was really nice. The one mention of the Timeless Child. Yeah, so he mentions in this clip, I was abandoned. But somebody's saying in the uh, comment section, he's always been an orphan. So it doesn't matter, maybe that's a reference to that. But as far as I know, um, this is probably a reference to Timeless Child, Russell T. Davis 
seems like he's gonna go somewhere with this because he keeps mentioning it. I can't show some of these clips because it gets demonetized. But um, yeah, he yeah, it seems like he's gonna go somewhere with the you know timeless child. He has a moment where there's a foster mother and he's talking about him being abandoned, and you know it's a little touching moment there. So yeah, another reference timeless child. He's had he was in the special as well. There was a reference to that. So yeah, he's gonna um, keeps mentioning it, and I have to go somewhere with it. Uh, so look, notes. Yeah, does the timeless child connect to Ruby somehow? Because they're going somewhere with this. I don't know where the connections are. We're seeing all the little bits coming in now. It is going to go somewhere. I don't know where it's going to go. Mm. Oh, there's the crack. There's a scene where there's cracks in the wall and the ceiling. It did remind me of an episode with Matt Spit Smith with a crack in the wall. So maybe that's something to do with it. I thought there was an old lady in the episode. Um, I don't know where she is. But there was an old lady in the episode. Uh... In that, so I thought the old lady was the master, maybe Missy if she's got old or something. Or was the old lady her, like uh, she's past version of her. But then again, I thought in the end of the scene, she mentioned, yeah, she seems to know what TARDIS was. Her name is Mr. F Mrs. Flo. She seems to know what TARDIS was. But then er early on in the episode, she sees the uh, TARDIS, you know, flying away, de you know, t uh, teleporting away. And she drops her shopping on the floor like she's surprised. So, does she know? Does she not know? I don't know how that came about. So that was odd. Mm. Was there any walk stuff in this episode? A uh, little, tiny bit of walk stuff, if you could say. One of the earlier on in the episode, there's a trans singer. It's kind of obvious they were trans. Um, they didn't go on about trans issues. It would be funny if they did go on a trans issues in a Christmas episode, because I think it wouldn't fit. It'll just be heavy handed. So it's just a trans singer. They didn't talk about trans at all. They're just there to represent the trans person. So you're a trans person on there. So that's fine. Um, yeah, there's some touching moments where Ruby gets wiped from existence and the foster mother forgets. So she didn't forget her, but her whole life changes in a negative where she's kind of more of a cold, um, uncaring person. And then the doctor starts crying. He's really crying. And that's kind of a touching moment. That was nice. Alright, so big thing is, who is Ruby's mother? She's adopted, she's abandoned at the church, who is her mother? Um, I've asked, I've made a video, put some comments, and I've uh, made a list, checked it twice, and um, my suspects are, she could be a trap, right? She's a trap sent into the past by the one who waits, right, to mess with the doctor somehow. Uh, she could be... Uh, Daughter of, uh, maybe she's the daughter of a uh, Time Lord, or maybe she's his grand or gr granddaughter, or maybe she's uh, Jodie Whittaker's daughter. Because you know, in the scene, I mean, look, watch in the scene where, now like, if you look, somebody said in the comment section, and I noticed it as well. She's wearing boots, which seem like uh, her boots seem like uh, Jodie Whittaker's boots. Or they also somebody said they looks like uh, Ruby's boots. But if that's Jodie Whittaker. Then the doctor had a baby and he forgot about it. Or she forgot about it. And abandoned it for some reason. But, okay, let's, let's see who else could it be. Could it be the master's baby? <laughs> could, could it be the master's baby? I don't know. Is Ruby the master's baby? Um, could it be Clara Oswald? Now, if, if it's, I think the body type of Ruby, she looks more like Clara Oswald. So I would say, yes, it could be Clara Oswald's child. I mean, they look more similar. Um, but her mother, Silhouette, her height and the skinniness of her body, she looks more like Amy Pond, right? I don't even make sense. Amy Pond passed away in the past, so I don't think she's even alive, so I don't know how she could come here. Uh, that doesn't make too much sense. Um, somebody said it was a love child between uh, Darius and a Dalek. Okay, long shots. Um, long shots, could be his grand or granddaughter, could be the master, could be the daughter, yeah, I don't know who it is, let me know in the comments section who you think, uh, the daughter, it's probably, uh, that Ruby's mother is, it seems like very important, it's gonna come into the story, um, yeah, so, let's wrap this up, end of the episode, I did not, I did not hate it. 
It was okay, above average. It wasn't a uh, Christmas episode. Nothing bad about it. Yeah. Go watch it. Thank you very much. Like my uh, like the video, subscribe to the video, use the links in the description, share the video, and tune in for my next reviews. Thank you. Bye.